nanomaterial modeler provides cement mineral models using tricalcium silicate, tricalcium aluminate, and calcium silicate hydrate. Tricalcium silicate is a major component of Portland cement. Depending on the temperature changes or hydration states, it can alter its polymorphic structures. In this video, we will demonstrate how to generate a tricalcium silicate model with a wet environment. To begin, select Cement Minerals followed by Tricalcium Silicate in the Nanomaterial Type menu. Tricalcium Silicate has two nanomaterial shapes, box and wolf construction. In this demo, we choose the box shape. For wolf construction, please refer to the video demo for wolf construction of gold nanoparticles or hydroxyapatite. Tricalcium Silicate has several different surfaces. We choose 001 for the Miller index and put 50, 50, and 30 in X, Y, and Z to define the size of the tricalcium silicate slab in angstroms. If you are not familiar with Miller indices, you should watch the video demo for clay minerals. Since tricalcium silicate is easily hydrated on exposure to water, we provide hydration options. We select the wet option, which is also the default. To generate a dehydrated tricalcium silicate model, select the dry option instead. For the wet environment, X and Y periodic options are automatically selected to make the tricalcium silicate slab. We use the solvated option to have our system solvated with water, then click next. Here we can check the generated structure by clicking view structure. Nanomaterial Modeler provides two methods to adjust water box size specify water box size, and fit water box size to material size. In the first option, you specify the system size manually. Note that we are not able to modify the X and Y values because we chose the XY periodic option in the previous step. The default values come from the nanomaterial size in step 1. In this tutorial, we will solvate tricalcium silicate with a 20 angstrom sodium chloride solution for both the top and bottom sides. Select the Fit Water Box Size to Material Size option and set the edge distance to 20 angstroms. In the Add Ions section, you can add ions and select the ion placing method. In this demo, we will use the default buffer concentration of 0.15 molar and select sodium chloride in the drop-down menu. Note that you must recalculate the number of ions after making any change. After clicking the Calculate Number of Ions button, click the Next button to proceed. Now we can check the solvated system generated from the previous step by clicking View Structure. Note that the final system size may be slightly different from the initial values of 50, 50, and 70 since the system size is approximated by an integer multiple of the unit cell size. Click the Next button to proceed to the input generation step. In this step, select the simulation software you want to run your simulation. After checking the software, set the temperature for equilibration and production runs. Click the Next button in the bottom right to generate simulation inputs. After a few minutes, download all input and output files by clicking the Download button. You can check the files of all previous steps after decompressing the TGZ file and read a simulation example in the README file under each simulation software directory.